Hello everyone, Rose McInerney here, WS Real Talk. I am in an airport setting today. This is day 29 of 30 movies in 30 days. And I am bringing you the story. The 29th movie is The Burnt Orange Heresy. It is a movie that filmed in, it closed the uh, Venice Film Festival this year. And it is uh, considered a film noir, which I think it is. Uh, the director is Giuseppe Campan Campantini, and it stars Klaus Bang, who's a Danish actor, and one I don't recognize apparently from The Square, um, but kind of a handsome, rugged guy in a disheveled way. And then Elizabeth the Becky, and Elizabeth was one of the four characters in Widows um, that you'll remember from last year. Um, so this is a really interesting movie for a number of reasons. It stars Mick Jagger, um, who has a significant role actually, and our coveted favorite, Donald Sutherland. Um, and the reason I'm here in the airport, um, A, is because I was traveling this weekend to see a, um, to uh, participate in a, a wedding, but also because I think it's an appropriate setting. So The Burnt Orange Heresy is actually based on a book that takes place in Florida, but the director has moved the movie um, to Italy. So there's some beautiful um, scenescapes of Lake Como, and it makes it that much more romantic and exotic and I think perfect for the film noir. So here's a quick recap. The movie opens with um, uh, the character played by Klaus. He is an art critic. He is doing a art review to a bunch of tourists in Italy. And you see through his opening monologue with the tourists that he's showing how it's so easy to have fakes and to fool people. You never know what you're buying, so buyer beware. And that sets the tone for the movie. Elizabeth shows up at the back. She's a beautiful, tall, slim, attractive blonde. The next thing you know, she's talking to Klaus. And the next thing they're in bed um, and having a good romp. And that da dark, sort of sexy romp kind of continues through. And for whatever unexplained reasons, what you learn is that Klaus is on his way to meet with Mick Jagger, who plays a wealthy art um, collector. And he is living in Italy, and he's gotten a hold of... Um, uh, Donald Sutherland's character who plays a guy named um, Debony, and Debony is a um, famous, uh, very old, at the end of his life, painter who's done very little. In the last couple of years, all of his artwork has gone up in flames with unfortunate fires. And so um, Klaus's character has, uh, uh, if he'll do a, a, a favor for Mick Jagger, then in turn he'll get a real painting and be able to take that onto the art market and sell it and make a lot of money. So greed, sex, um, deception. Those are the three sort of basic characters in the movie. All right, that's the recap. Probably a little too long. Okay, my verdict on this one, um, it's getting panned with Rotten Tomatoes. It's, you know, six, six out of ten. It's getting a 40% rating. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say it's a great dinner movie. It's, it's a good one for conversation, and I like the topic because the topic is about lies and deception and how what may appear to be a certain way is not actually what's really happening, and this is very true. Um, the movie takes a, a quick tunnel down, a really um, dark, it goes down a, a really dark, dark tunnel. So three reasons why I like it. Um, I like it because um, we don't have a lot of these kinds of movies. It's kind of a, a reinvented Alfred Hitchcock. So I think, again, it's a great date movie and one to talk about. Number two, I like the subject matter, the idea of lies um, and deception. It's something that's a hot topic right now. I know Malcolm Gladwell's got a book, new book out. Uh, that debuts on the shelf, I think, at the beginning of October. And it's all about lying and can we trust strangers? So I think that it's very topical. Number three, I'm just going to say it, of course, Donald Sutherland, Sutherland we love, um, but Mick Jagger is good. Um, I don't know if he's been in any other movies or not. I'm, I'm not a, a movie, I haven't seen anything with him in it, but he's very natural. He's got a charisma and you can tell, actually, you can kind of tell that he's eating it up, so he loves it. So I'm going to say yes, go ahead and see this movie, um, but make it a date movie or something where you see it in the evening and then you chat over wine. Um, so that's my take on this one. So this is 29, tomorrow we'll see for the last day, um, 30 movies, 30 days. I can't believe that we're almost there. We'll see you on womanscape.com and don't forget our WS Magazine Cinematics, so check that out. Have a great one everyone, bye for now.